God and his sovereignty and his truth, which must guide my life, that I don't guide my own life. That means that there, that submission inherently involves my heart, um, my will, that I am not king of the universe and I must bow and, and, and listen, and it also involves the desires. When you think of in chapters uh, 7, 8, and 9 of, of how this um, placing and contrast the voice of Dame Folly versus Lady Wisdom, and it's calling out to the simple, so you think it's only intellectual, but ultimately it means, do you desire me? Do you desire wisdom or do you desire folly and the pursuit of the flesh? And uh, they both call from that prominent place of the city. They're obviously placed in these parallel tracks. And the simple as it says, some fall into folly, but some fall into wisdom. Well, part of it is, is what do I desire? Mm -hmm. And so my whole heart must be involved. It's interesting how Solomon, in the beginning of his reign, um, had a listening heart, literally is how it's put, you know, as opposed to just, he was smart. You know, he had a listening heart. He was humble. He was willing to listen. But what happened? Mm -hmm. He did exactly what God told the kings not to do, to acquire principally uh, horses, gold, and women. And he, became, he invested himself in all three, and uh, his heart was turned away, principally by the, the false gods of his wives. And it's interesting that when you hear some of the, the, the praise given to like Asa and Hezekiah, um, that they love God with all their heart. But it's interesting that David tells Solomon, make sure that you uh, pursue God's commands with a whole heart. And you almost get the sense that he knew something about his son. And his son even prays that in 1 Kings 8 at his inauguration, giving all these things that, that we would have, serve you with our whole heart. And then you come to uh, 1 Kings that says that this just ended badly for him. And it says because he did not serve God with a whole heart. It doesn't say all the hearts, it says a whole heart. Mm -hmm. Shalem. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting because that, that's, it comes from the same wording as shalom for peace, which means it's comprehensive. Mm -hmm. And so what it, I think what it's connoting is that his whole heart that he under, had understanding, but he had not submitted himself, and ultimately his desires were not for God. Mm.